Okay, not bad, okay? You need a little bit more of a push whichever way you went. You just kind of went straight down the middle and then stretched out, okay? You can stretch that leg out and go down your belly if you want, but you need to go the same way that he's going a little bit too, right? Because otherwise your leg was right in the net there because you just backed right up into it. So, it's fine, back up with him though, a little more patience and then go the way that he's skating so that way that leg can get in front of that post when you stretch it out like that, yeah. Patience. Not bad, I think he's backing in a little too much. Okay, just hold your ground for a little bit longer. Yep. Four oh five. Just don't get me when you get here. Keep around. Yeah, here, here. Patience. Better. Better. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta hold a little longer up there. Wait for him, wait for him. Good. Goaltending is not rocket science. You need to have a goaltending process. And we've distilled it down to three things you absolutely have to do to be a great goaltender. This process involves three things. Moving to your target, deciding what safe selection to use when you get there, and number three, where do you put the puck after you make the save? And then you just rinse and repeat those three things over and over again, then you got yourself a game. Let's go down and drill down into each of these moving to get to the proper target. Now for me that involves A, knowing the game well enough to know where you should be depth wise, Correct. where you should be positionally, yep. and B, having the physicality and the skating ability to get there. And Mitch Korn used to say this a million times, you gotta get there. So yeah, positioning is, is huge and, and we talk about positioning a lot in everything that we do. Whether we're talking about depth, whether we're talking about angle, whether we're talking about recoveries and getting to the right position, um, being able to move and get to the right position is the most important part because if you're not in the right spot, it makes it a lot harder to make the proper save. Right, and I always use that example that, you know, if you give a guy half a net to shoot at, he's going to hit that. If you give him just a tiny little golf ball sized target, he's going to miss a lot wide, he's going to beat it into your chest, he's going to hit it once in a blue moon. But if you have great position, knowing where to go and the athleticism to get there, you've got the goalie process almost all figured out. The second element is the save selection. What save do you use in that situation? And I've had a kind of pet peeve when we get into zone mapping and people say that if the puck is here, you do move A. If the puck is there, you do move B. It's a good you know, guideline to have an idea, but I don't think I'd want to slavishly follow that. You want to have save selections that you decide to use based on the situation and all the factors. Is there a backdoor threat? Is it Sidney Crosby or is it Joe Bender? Just because Joe Bender has the puck in a certain spot and Sidney Crosby has the puck in the same spot, your save selection could change based on who the personnel is and the time and space issues involved. So what do you think about save selection? So the first part that we talked about, moving and being in the right position, is the physical aspect of it. The save selection is the mental aspect of it. And this is where your studying of the game, your studying of the shooters, your, your knowledge of the game is going to come into effect here. And knowing what one, two, or three different types of saves will work in each different situation is what's going to 
going to make you make the right decision or not, right? And if you only have the knowledge of making one type of situation in any given circumstance, then you're just going to default to that every single time. And it may or may not be the right one for the situation. The game of hockey has so many factors, so many variables and moves so fast that one thing doesn't always work in any given situation. There are 10 guys on the ice that are trying um, to either defend or score on you, and they're all moving in different positions and doing different things every time. There's no way to simulate that in practice or in a private lesson that, that can show you every single situation that's going to happen. So we have to have different outcomes and different um, save selections and different things that we can do in every situation depending on what each individual situation is happening. So the goalie process, the physical part is getting into the right position and being where you need to be. The mental side of it is now what save do we have to make in each selection? And is there one thing or is there multiple things that we can do in each different situation? And another element that happens there is with pre-scouts at the higher levels, if you default to a certain move in a certain situation every time, because Puck's here, you do this, super easy to scout you and expose and address the weaknesses. And then the final thing in the process besides moving to a position and making the safe selection is where you deposit the puck after you stop it. Now, in an ideal world, you want to have possession. Uh, if you've got a lot of traffic in front and the puck's low and you can't get possession, you need to get it away from the traffic by directing it. But these are more of the mental side of the game and understanding where pucks have to go. And I'll use the example of playing pool. I played against my father-in-law at one time and he would never leave me the ball anywhere where I had an easy shot. He was always taking care of where the ball would finish after he played his shot. And you have to have sort of a billiard mentality as a goaltender and be very smart with your leaves so you're not creating dirty diapers and problems along those ways. And with respect to rebound control, before I forget, we have a free goaltending app that you can go to the Apple iTunes store and it's called Goalie Tracker App and it's future pro based and it will help you track all your rebounds and manage where you put the puck after you make the save. That is the goaltending process. Moving, save selection, and where you put the puck after you start. Yeah.